what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Future's baby mama demanded that he pay her $53,000 a month for having his baby. Future countered with a whopping $1,000. Question fam, is that fair? Is $1,000 a month fair for child support? Let's forget how much Future made reportedly last year. I mean, just if you didn't know who Future was, if you just heard a man was paying $1,000 a month for child support, would that be fair? Okay. What about if the man is making $20 million a year? Reportedly, he made $20 million last year, 2019. Does the baby mama, the seventh baby mama, Eliza Rain, deserve $53,000 a month in child support. If not 53, what's fair? For a man that earns $20 million. Now keep in mind, he got six other baby mamas that's been reported that the public knows of, right? Confirm. How much should she get out of that 20 million per year? What's a fair number? Now here are my thoughts. I think that $1,000 per month is grossly low for a man who makes $20 million a year to give towards child support. I know that it was supposed to be a hit and run. I know that he didn't love her and cared nothing about her. But $1,000 per month? Now, perhaps in his mind, he's thinking, you know, I'm gonna give you $1,000 a month to blow because I know that's what you're gonna do. And whatever extra I do is on me. Maybe that's his rationale. Maybe he's thinking along those lines because I know some dudes who do a lot more than what the court order um, requires them to do. But what is really fair? 20 million, 20 million a year, I have a child out there, you know, I ain't tripping, you know, I'm not tripping. If I'm getting 20 million a year, I'm not tripping on, now, and I, and I keep in mind, six baby mamas. If, I, if that was my only baby mama, baby mama I, I wouldn't trip on the 53 a, a year. I just would not trip on that, I mean, a, a month. I wouldn't trip on 53,000 a month. I just wouldn't if I'm getting 20 million a year. That ain't what I'm worth. That's what I got just last year alone. So I'm not really tripping on that for 18 years. What is that? Uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of $8 million or something? I guess, I don't know, without doing the math, 10 years would be $5.3 million. Nah, 10 years, no, actually it's more than that because 10 months is 530,000. So somewhere around in the $7 million range, I believe, a year, if my math is correct. I meant for 10 years. I'm not really tripping on that, you know, because I, I would want my baby to live in luxury no matter where my baby is, no matter what if they're staying at my house or they're staying at their mother's house. Now I get it. Some fellas is like, nah, hell no. What kid needs 53,000 a month to live? Nah, they don't need all of that. I'm gonna give her just enough money to pay the rent, pay for childcare, 
get some clothes, food or whatever, and utilities. I know that that comes, it's a package deal. Fellas, you gotta understand that. I know that some of y'all don't like that, but it's a package deal. If two lay, two lay down and three get up, you gotta pay. Men who are greater than us have already walked that line. They've already been there. So that's just the game, fam. We know that the system is corrupt. We know it's a hustle. We already know that. We know that child support is a broke chick hustle. We know that. So when we lay down and have unprotected sex and we're gambling, we're taking a gamble with our penis. We already know it's a crap shot. Ha, might get a baby, ha, might not. So we know that it ain't like we got tricked. Nobody put a gun to his head, none of that stuff. So we know that going in. It is how time, how time that we take responsibility for our actions as men. Does that mean that you excuse the women's actions? No, it doesn't. I'm speaking for men. I can't really speak on women. Women speak to women. I, I just, I subscribe to the philosophy that women teach women and men teach men. That's the way I rock. Some of y'all got a problem with that. But the reason why I have that mentality is because if I'm trying to talk to women, women may look at it like I have an ulterior motive. They'll look at it like, oh, he has an ulterior motive. He's a man. Of course, he don't understand that a lot. But they know a woman ain't looking for nothing from him. If that woman is speaking and they respect, what that, they respect that woman, they'll respect what she's saying. Same thing with men. If men are listening to a man, a man that they respect, a man that they know that has the knowledge and the information, then they're going to receive it a lot better than a woman would. So when I'm speaking on things like this, what a man's responsibility is, I'm speaking to men. I'm speaking from the man's perspective. And, you know, it's up to women to put the women in check and check the women. You dig what I'm saying? So... I can only be honest with you because I love you for real. I know a lot of these cats, they talk that shit, and but they ain't really real with it. They ain't really solid about it. They say whatever they can say to, to get you on their side and pander to you, make you feel good, and all of that stuff. I want to see you grow. I want to see you be the best that you can be for real. And it's important to me that you get the right information I'm not saying I have all the answers, but I've been there, done that. I've really lived and, and been around the world. I'm multicultural. Uh, I know people in high places, low places, and everything in between. I've just experienced so much. So when I speak on this stuff, I'm not telling you what I heard. I'm telling you what I know. I'm not saying if you do this, 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 this will happen, but if you do this, 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 this is most likely to happen. That's all I'm saying. So you can take the information and run with it, or you can discard it, do whatever you want to do with it. I'm just here, here to give you the information. I do believe that as men, you know, there's a responsibility that comes with procreating. I don't see how dudes can have all of these babies by all of these different women and give these babies what they need. These babies need nourishing. They need their father there to coach them, to teach them, to guide them, to love on them, to spend time with them. They need their father's presence, not presence. You did? They need their father's presence. Them phone calls and all that stuff, that's cool in between. But you got to have as much physical contact as possible with these babies, especially in these times. These times are trying. These times, these babies need their fathers in their lives more than ever because we don't have communities raising the babies like 
they did when I was growing up. You know, people would chip in. You know, you see a kid doing something wild, you could check them back when I was growing up. Can't do that now because parents get offended. Oh, you did this to my kid. You put your hands on my kid. You up? They go crazy. Then law enforcement steps in when you try to, you know, check a kid. So these kids need their fathers. There's too much pressure being put on the women. Women are phenomenal. They have like tremendous strength. I mean, think about what a woman goes through just dealing with her, her, her own biology. Think about the things she have to go through as a female, period. Just being born a female, what her body goes through. And then she has to still do all the things that men do. Get up, go to work, uh, be level-headed, be attentive, be generous, loving, thoughtful. You know, that's a lot. So we have to be there to give the women some relief. We have to understand that they can't do it alone. Yes, they have done it alone, but there have been deficiencies there because the, of the absence of the father. We know this. By the grace of God, some of us, we were able to slip through the cracks being raised by our mothers and we got there anyway. We, we got there. We did it. But, but far too often, many of us don't get there because we're leaving all of this burden on the mother. Now, and this ain't even me trying to get in do business. I'm just using his situation to talk to y'all. It's basically his situation is just basically an example of an example that I'm using for the conversation, you know, and this is a conversation that needs to be had. You know, what's fair? We know what's fair. I suspect that first and foremost, when he said, I'll give you a thousand dollars a month, we know that's not going to happen. He probably would have came out better if he would have just went on and said, look, I give you five racks, anything else you're taking a risk. You know, he could have chopped it in half and said, hey, man, you're taking a risk. Anything you ask me, anything else, you're taking a risk. Now, what do you want to do? Lawyers would have advised, him, look, we can take a chance. That's how lawyers talk. Listen, I know what you're saying. I know you got $20 million. You got, but, but, you know, you got to consider that he got other baby mamas and we don't know what they're asking for and that he's a, a rapper. He made $20 million this year. He may not make nothing next year. You know, uh, you know, we, we got to look at that. We got to we got to think about it. You know that. You know we might get. You know seven men on the jury and five women. You know we might get twelve men on the jury, and they may be sympathetic toward future, and they may rule in his favor. Is that a chance you want to take? When he got twenty five thousand on the table right now, what you want to do? That's how them lawyers gonna talk. The lawyer going to give her the yin and the yang. The lawyer going to say, but I'll do whatever you want me to do because the lawyer knows it's some money in it at the end of the day. He knows they're going to get something out of it. He don't know how much. There are no guarantees when you're walking into courtrooms in America. But 1000 in my opinion, is way too low. Even if it was a jump off, if it was a hit and run, it doesn't matter because... Even if it was a hit and run, he got to pay because somebody got the license plate. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? <laughs>